Those who once marched with Mussolini turned against him. Dismissed and under arrest, El Duce disappeared in captivity. Italy was changing sides, but Nazi Germany still had ears and eyes across the country. Agents tracked Mussolini to the Apennine Mountains of central Italy. Standing over the Grand Sasso Plateau, the skiing hotel Campo Imperatore commanded strategic views. Mussolini's jailers could see any potential attackers coming. Extracting him would be a challenge, even for modern commandos. On the 12th of September, 1943, 12 gliders were towed into the air from an airfield south of Rome. The paratroopers on board braced for landing and a pitched battle with Italian traitors who were supposedly about to hand over their former dictator to face Allied justice. The apparently gallant, brave, and most importantly, successful rescue was recorded for triumphant Nazi newsreels. Der Duce ist frei. Männer des SD und der Waffen SS sowie Fallschirmjäger haben den Auftrag des Führers erfüllt. The apparently fearless raid was not what it seemed. Mussolini's rescue was hardly the daring attack portrayed in the German press. The paratroopers took the Duce without a shot being fired. Yet photographs clearly show that his Italian captors were armed. Well, they could have at least fired or they could have killed Mussolini. There was still, still time for that. Heavy machine guns on the hotel roof had been dismantled. Rather than resist, the Italian guards posed with the Germans for photographs. Their commander, Giuseppe Guelli, was clearly unprepared for combat, dressed in a civilian suit. The mission was proclaimed as one of the most daring and successful commando raids of the war. In reality, Mussolini's captors had not bothered to fire a single round. The Italian leadership was perhaps glad to be rid of a potential liability.